Welcome to Starship Troopers. I feel like there's been a number of times we've played like tabs or other games and we, we've kind of like envisioned and created the situation where like our fortress was under siege, similar to like how in the movie Starship Troopers, the first one, the only really good one out of the bunch, which is a shame. And we were just defending against endless, endless waves of arachnids, but I'm pretty, I, I've had my eye on this game for quite a while. There's a free to play demo going on right now. And this one looks pretty juicy because at the end there's, well, there's a fortress. And I love this because like for a free to play demo, there's a lot of content. Look at this, man. Look at these animations, dude. I mean, uh, not animations per se. You're dead, mate. But from tragedy springs hope as the Federation rebuilds its fleet Bigger and stronger than before. Yes. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Quilasha. Yep, we're gonna go to Once Quilasha. An isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may bugs. Now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. The game doesn't come out till like March of 2022. So I feel like being able to play it essentially six months early, like the first three missions is pretty awesome. Now, this is the first one. If you guys do want to see more Starship Troopers, pull the trigger on the like button, let me know that you want to see more because there's a few more missions we can do. So at the beginning here, we're going to be dropped in on planet. We're going to have to sort of secure the area. And then eventually what we're going to do is occupy that fort and have to defend it while waiting for pickup. So it's pretty much like the quintessential, like, experience for Starship Troopers. Join the forces around the bug hive. So let, let's take a look at the minimap. We've got like a radio station. Here's the fortress, right? This is where we want to get to. There's already guys on these heavy machine gun guard towers. Does that not look sort of familiar? And right now, well, we've got a bug hive that we need to clear. And the only way to do that is with firepower. All right, so we'll do a little bit of an attack move here. And these are little chariot bugs. So they're pretty much like the pushovers, you know? Like, they look like just giant cockroaches, which luckily they're not nearly as fast as cockroaches. Oh my God, wouldn't that be terrible? If they were as fast as cockroaches, oh, but that big, they would be something that would be very terrifying. Now, that being said, if like we were on this planet, you know, like doing our little mining thing, we would, uh, we'd have problems. That would be terrifying. So check this out. We've got snipers here and we've got a tactical officer. And basically right now it's like, hey, don't try to shoot your guys in the back. Create, you know, a little concavity or a little bit of a firing line, preferably, to basically get as many rounds of pain train downfield as possible. And you may be thinking, you know what? I've always wondered how come they didn't use like flamethrowers and stuff like that. That seems like it would be more effective than ballistics based weaponry against something with an exoskeleton, right? Well, you'd be right. And we're going to get flamethrowers in just a moment. Now, fire versus bugs, who do you think wins? Well, we've got airstrikes, so let me show you just who's the best. Look at that. Ah, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. However, burning bugs, I mean, burning anything, unless it's like beef. <laughs> doesn't usually smell very good, right? So I would imagine these burning acidic bugs would actually be like pretty gross. Okay, it looks like the bugs are gonna get into, wait, there's a city over here? Oh man, they're gonna kill a lot of people, aren't they? We can't get there fast enough. We, we may be mobile infantry, but we're literally just like hoofing it right now. We don't have any like motorcycles, dune buggies, warthogs, anything awesome like that. That's another thing, like I've always thought that there should be like more vehicles in play. And I'm hoping to see that. So we're trying to catch up with them. They're literally just like destroying every little miner in this town. That's a shame. Are there any survivors? But and like, look at how many bullets they soak up. I don't think our assault rifles are, are like very effective, man. Like we need depleted uranium shells. We need to go from like our probably NATO rounds or like whatever the government. Oh. All right, so we had to create a little bit more of a firing line here. We don't want anybody to die, if at all possible. Ooh, aim in stacks. What? Why are we confiscating their weapons? Hey guys, there's a lot of bugs on this planet. You won't need these guns, will you? <laughs> you gonna have to rely on the government. I don't know. Seems like a interesting choice to me. And here we go. Here's the flamethrowers. 
All right, so we're gonna form up like right here on the flank and just let these like look at this man flamethrowers baby cannot fire through friendly unit yeah <laughs> as, as i just like run through them Ooh, is that a, a rifle trooper a dead trooper or a miner he's got like red well that's probably blood right i don't know what it is all right let's pull back a little bit so that they'll probably be drawn to the flamethrowers that's ideally what we want they seem to be much more effective now, one of the cool mechanics in the game is, like, you're going to lose troops, right? And right now, since we don't necessarily have a base... Oh, look at this. Now I got flamethrowers. But, like, you can request reinforcements. Like, your squads to be replenished, essentially, from uh, airdrop. So, like, you know, let's send these guys in. Actually, let's capture the ammunition first. Oh, let's attract all the attention there is. Now, flamethrowers don't have as big of a range. All right, we're going to move everybody up. Now, I'm wondering if elevation's going to kind of play into this at all. I would imagine so. All right, so we've got to secure the radio station. But yeah, so far, I would say that it plays like a classic RTS. Uh-oh, here we go. Torch him, baby. These rifle guys are a little bit too close. Good job. Okay, we, we lost some out of here. Let's go capture this radio station and call in the reinforcements. We still have two ammo stashes we've got to confiscate. God, I love that flag. All right. Reinforcements are in route. Look at this. Now, the drop pod sure did come pretty quickly. <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit too quickly, right? Uh-oh. Major bugs. Sounds like a guy's, like, nickname. Ha. Huh. A major bugs. Okay. We're gonna form a perimeter here. Get our flamethrowers, and we got 25 seconds till the attack's coming. And the idea here is we want the rifle platoons to still be able to fire. Engineers excel in choke points, great. I'm not gonna listen to you. <laughs> is it a bad idea? Maybe. All right. There we go, I, I think that's pretty good. All right, big bug attack. That's what this game's gonna be all about. Like, since, you know, it's asymmetrical warfare, essentially, it's not like, you know, Marines. These were the original Space Marines, right? Space Marines versus other Space Marines. It's Space Marines versus just like melee centric bugs that kind of swarm you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did we. Dude, these guys are getting like chewed up. Like liter literally chewed up. Flamethrowers! Literally shoot them. He's right there. All right. We're toasting them. We're roasting them. We held the line. And I don't think we. Well, that actually might be a human right there, right? So. Reinforcements! How many more men did I get? Because we definitely lost one. That red blood... Oh, two? Hot dog. Here it is. Delta 4 base. Leave the civvies? Something is wrong here. We're confiscating their weapons. And we're leaving them? That's messed up, man. I, I don't know about this, man. This is like some dystopian future type stuff. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to go all the way over there. Said lots of room for bug holes, right? So which way do we think we want to go? Probably that way. I'm going to go left. Everybody go. Oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Prepare a firing line. It's pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Now, look at this, man. I like how, like, the map has a lot of, like, stuff going on. Although these futuristic guards are kind of funny. Like, out in the middle of the desert, they're like, hey, what's up? More weapons to confiscate. And then just slowly but surely making our way to that fortress where hopefully we're going to have an awesome little holdout. How are we doing? Uh-oh. There we go. Concavity. A nice little semicircle there. Confiscating ammunition. Yeah, it's not like we're like... I don't think we need ammo, right? Do, do I have a limit on ammo? Oh, we have grenades we can use. Now, since we're, I think, far away, we're not going to be able to... Uh-oh. Pull back! There we go. That's much better. But man, like, these bugs, like, they are hardy. They take a lot of damage. Maneuvering a big group like this through narrow confines is pretty difficult, I'd say. Or, like, it's tricky. Especially, like, since we don't have any idea of where the bugs are. Our battlefield intelligence is inferior. All right, you two, let's just, like, kind of, you know, search it out. Very narrow. But we're almost there. Oh. Hey. All right, we got some rifle troopers already out here, so, like, we're in the safe spot now. Oh, yeah. You know these guys. If, if these guys do not come inside the walls, they are going to die. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, wait. What? I don't want to do it in the open. Oh, man. Are they coming from this side, too? They are. Oh, they got flyers, too. Dude, I love these heavy machine gun turrets. 
All right, I'm trying to jam up this choke point with my engineers. That seemed to work pretty well. Wow. They're like, hey, the bugs are coming. Might as well close the walls and leave you guys outside. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Like, a lot. You guys are great. Love it. I'm um, probably... Oh, never mind. Man the wall, man the wall, man the wall. Get up on those walls. All right. We'll position ourselves up here. And then we'll leave engineers as sort of like... The reinforcements? I, I don't I don't know how good their range is gonna be. I wish they could get like sniper rifles. That would be awesome. Look at this, man! Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. When I saw this game, I was like, oh, you better have like this is my favorite part when they try to climb the walls. Oh, we got flyers. The heavy machine gun. You remember that movie? Like that's the guy on the heavy machine gun gets wrecked by the flyers. Oh, combat engineers on the wall is fantastic. Oh, they're up here. Roast them, boys! <laughs> Elite status for a rifle trooper. Oh, sweet. Oh, these little, like, squares above their name, I think, are, like, their veterancy. Heck, yeah. So, I mean, we've achieved victory. Here is the mobile infantry, right? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Like, it didn't say reposition the ammunition to a safer location. It was like, take the peasants' gun. The peasants. The people's guns. So... On the Koalasha campaign. So I'm wondering if we're going to be able to go to, like, multiple planets. Because at least when I read the book, like, there's other alien species. You know, in the Starship Troopers sort of galaxy. Whole patrol. And then we got a peace of mind. And they call it a mine. So let's take a quick little preview as to what the next mission is going to have waiting for us. Our job. Now, I'm kind of curious if this is going to have, like, some classic RTS kind of mechanics, like, where we, we're going to do a little bit of base building, or is it mostly just, like, exploring? Oh, I, I feel like there could be a little bit of more crispness on the, uh, like, oh, God. Guys, so, <laughs> nobody's going to survive, man. Everybody just gets eaten by bugs. That's kind of, like, the idea here, right? And, like, I wish my dudes would, like, actually move around them so they could get into a firing position. There's little things like that. But, oh wow, okay, checking the map, lots of bug holes. The next mission looks like it's gonna be pretty big. But this is sort of just like a first glance, ooh, a third group, and ooh, more, 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 more. Oh, heck yeah, this is my favorite part, rifle troopers. Dude, and then they come in via dropship in the pipe, five, five, five. Oh man, oh, bugs inbound, oh, you know what that means? The best part of the game, defense. Against endless hordes of bugs. Alright, and this is what, in the first couple minutes of the next mission? This next one's gonna be dope. Now, I have seen hive population is not yet depleted. So our strategy of eliminating hives is, hey, we're here. Come get us, we'll, we'll, we'll shoot you. Ooh, a supply depot? I'm wondering, a deploy a delivery platform and supply depots as well as radio station. Radio stations call in infantry. I'm curious what the other ones are gonna do. All right, boys, let's move out. But yeah, so this is kind of like what's going on in the next one. We'll attack move. There we go. These guys can actually use elevation and fire over each other. So that's pretty dope. And so what? They're just gonna keep coming, but slowly but surely. It's kind of we've been playing a lot of like sort of like base defense games lately. It's like, honestly, it's one of my favorites. Kind of like tropes in games is endless wave defense. See, like, I need to attack move while being able to maneuver my guys, but they it doesn't let me do that very well, even though I, I'm holding down A, like AKA attack move. And we're losing a lot of infantry as a result of it. I swear it's not my problem, guys. It's definitely the games, right? <laughs> I kind of want to try throwing a grenade. Just to seeing, like, just how good that is. Use grenades against larger hordes. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's probably why I thought of it. Okay. We'll drop a grenade, like, right there. Frag out! I mean... Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, and this is how often it's gonna be spawning. It's gonna be spawning one squad of them, or one unit of them? Like, one single entity. Let's see. Okay, that's four. I think, yeah, a squad's like four. Oh, we don't have any grenades now? We're out of grenades. We're not out of grenades. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here's an effective grenade. There's a little bit of cooldown on the grenade feature. Yeah, so, I mean, this next one, I think is gonna be pretty long. One, two, three, there's four of them, and then I think, if we look over here, there's these big red arrows. So we're probably gonna have to, like, send a unit in there? Ooh. <laughs> 
they're gonna take some casualties, but that's what we're here for, man. You don't really... If you are a rifle trooper, you're not having a good day. All right, get out of there. Bug hive cleared. Oh, I thought they were gonna, like, blow it up. Capture the local radio station and use them to staging points for operations to take out arachnid colonies. All right. Like, isn't it weird how, like, in this kind of, like, galaxy, it's just, like... You got the arachnids and humans. And the book series had others. I'm not sure if like the movie adaptation of it has more, but I mean, it's just kind of random, you know? Like the other living species out there, just giant space ants, right? I mean, they're called arachnids, so they're, they're kind of like space ant spiders, right? I mean, I think we can all agree on that. All right, we've identified an enemy. There we go, open up on him, attract him in here. Four of them, one sneaking around the flank, but we got that Firing lane covered. Ooh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, so we'll draw them out. Oh, one guy just got ripped apart. Then they die, and acid goes everywhere. Why do all aliens have acidic blood? Yeah, they just kind of like stop. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if uh, they're just m more micro dependent than maybe I would think that they would be. The good news about taking this radio station is we're gonna be able to call in. Air support, and then I gotta- I gotta see what delivery platform is all about. Oh, heck yeah. Alright, go check out this delivery platform. Deploy support center. Oh, <gasps> new objective constructor support center, got it. Call in engineer, now- Oh, now we get engineers! Okay. So I'm- I'm calling in two squads of them. And what's this? Supply... Depot, what does it do? What does the supply depot do? Dropship transport? Oh, heavy machine gun? Okay, they want a heavy machine gun where? I'm thinking like right he here on this hill. They're gonna be coming from either side. Oh, they're coming from over here right now. So we'll take kind of a gander over here. Oh, and it's gotta be placed on like cement. Interesting, that's kind of cool. On hard surfaces. Okay, it wants me to put it there, I think. I like that spot. And you, let's get one over here. Now I don't have any hard surfaces over here. Can I place them at all? Okay, good. We've got the heavy machine gun in place. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where they want me to put this one. Oh, over here, maybe. Okay. We'll do it there. You guys will guard the rear, you guys guard the forward area. And we will just hold this base. But, so this is what we got to look forward to. There's some pretty cool base building mechanics that we're gonna get to play with. Oh, this? Okay. So you notice how these two bug tunnels are different? Like, I think this one might be the guy that shoots fire. So I think we're also encounter some new, like, arachnids. Oh god. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Needless to say, we got a little bit of issue that we're gonna have to face in the next one. So, thank you for watching our first episode of Starship Troopers. If you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.